What's going on, guys? Gomes here, back again on another MLB The Show 20 Diamond Dynasty video. Big week content. We have Stage 4 Team Affinity. Pretty big. Uh, we have a big new World Series reward coming tonight. Very big. Um, but let's address the big amount of comments. The 40 or so inevitable comments are going to get uh, if I don't address this. There it goes. How are you at 43 program stars? I've been told you were the Norwegian Nostradamus of knocking out inning programs. To that, I, I, I've been busy. It was at Halloween uh, party. Uh, and here's my costume right here. Uh, now, one might say it first. Uh, Gomes, you sure look a little overweight there. But little do you know, I was not just going as renowned supervillain Man Ray. Uh, I was going as renowned supervillain Man Ray if he's been shut in in his house for... Uh, many months playing video games and having a strict diet of G Fuel and Popeye's chicken sandwiches. So, uh, yeah, I'm gonna get on the grind, but uh, leave a like, subscribe to the channel, would be cool. Make sure and do that. Get into this one now, okay? Uh, here we go, Monday. We have new stuff tonight. We have a brand new World Series reward, uh, which we already know who it's gonna be. We learned it yesterday, which I did not upload two days in a row. That's the first time, I think, all year. Uh, Gomes does apologize. Football was uh, kind of me. It was pretty damn good yesterday. So, the brand new World Series reward is, of course, Willie Mays, as a lot of you guys probably know, or maybe do not know at this point. And mixed reactions from a lot of people. A lot of people upset. A lot of people kind of thought, yeah, that makes sense. And I'm in the makes sense crowd because once we got the 99 Griffey in the boss program, it really didn't tickle my pickle, shock my socks off i guess that we are gonna get this card in world series it's not as bad as flawless where you literally can't even get the fucking card unless you're one of the first 100 golden ticket willy wonka members um but willy Mays, it's an mvp card it's an awards card so it's gonna look a bit different than the signature did last year but this is a nice little blueprint uh you can expect for sure diamond defense 90 plus arm strength 90 plus speed um Really good shit as far as that goes. Uh, and I would assume it's going to be pretty similar. You know, he's going to have at least 100 plus on everything. Contact and power both ways. Uh, this is going to be yet another outfielder. Because I know you guys have been asking for those for quite some time. Uh, could we please uh, maybe get a, <laughs> uh, get a fourth outfield spot? Uh, maybe. And it's like going to Starbucks for the first time. A big wall. A lot of shit. What could you order? The possibilities are endless, but uh, you don't want to take forever, so you just get the same thing as always. Um, but uh, I really do hope that this card is going to be good. Uh, I don't know if it's going to replace... Because right now, I'll be honest with you, and you'll see a Griffey debut from me a little bit later on today. Griffey is not going to be a part of my main squad. I really think Randy Rosarena, no bias at all, and I think you guys could agree with that. Randy Rosarena is probably one of the top outfielders, one of the best three, because um, he's max contact both ways, 100 vision, 112 power left, gold defense, 84 speed. I don't know if Willie Mays is going to top that. Griffey didn't for me. I think the best outfield you can run this year is going to be Trout, Mantle, and uh, a Rosarena. Uh, that's how it looks. And uh, wouldn't you know it, the Rays have a top-tier card. Lord, has hell froze over. And Lord, uh, I would rather have the Rays have a World Series ring opposed to getting a cool pixels in a, car, uh, in a game. But yeah. One will take what we can get. Beggars won't be choosers. Uh, so that's going to be tonight. We're also going to get two more cards in the... Don't look at my rating, by the way. I swear to God. One, uh, I did disconnect, but a lot of bullshit happening. Trust me. It's not because I'm incompetent when it comes to this game. Surely not. Um, but we're also going to get two new cards in this pack right here. So hopefully quite good. Hopefully good budget cards. And uh, let's get on to the weekly stuff that... Uh, is going to be on Twitter, more or less. And it's also going to be here. So what I'm going to need you to do is blow on that subscribe and notification bell, baby, like a Nintendo 64 cartridge. Hit those shits. Because uh, we're going to be talking about some of the reveals all week long. It's starting tomorrow. I know reveals start tonight. Perhaps by this time this video is uploaded. Um, that's going to be over on Twitter. Uh, and I'll probably make another video talking about just how I think they're going to roll this out. 
because it doesn't look like voting's gonna happen this year, which kind of sucks. That was probably my favorite thing about last year's finest is being able to vote for who you want. Of course, some people are incompetent to figure out what the best card for the team would be, but hey, uh, you know, at least we had a choice. 33% of the chance time that what you got was actually the one that you wanted. Um, so that's going to be throughout the week. And then on Friday, of course, we're going to get the Stage 4 Team Affinity Drop, which, uh, as you guys can see from this tweet, if it wasn't clear enough, it is officially confirmed now that it is going to be Finest Cards for Team Affinity Stage 4. Myself and many, many other intellectual content creators, streamers, and YouTubers alike have been saying this for months, and yeah, yeah. Uh, a lot of theories that how somehow it wouldn't be um, but pretty clear that it is going to be that. Uh, so make sure you are preparing in ways. Uh, I think Ramon said on stream last week that Conquest is going to have some ties to... I don't fucking know. I don't know how that's possible. Uh, they're probably going to introduce something new. Uh, a new way to get some points. Maybe they're going to have a, a repeatable Conquest map. Kind of like the Run It Back something like maybe they're just gonna have that be what gets you points one could say one could tell once this is actually uh rolled out on friday uh but yeah for the exchanges same thing goes uh if you want to start stocking up on gold it's not a bad idea to do so right now i don't think they're going for all that much if you're to look at uh 84s for example yeah, you can buy these guys for about 1.4 buy orders. This is not the cheapest way, uh, but it is going to be one of the quickest ways to get this done. I already have everything at 100%. And uh, yeah, uh, make sure and stay on the lookout for that. Also, there's going to be a huge market crash. That's just inevitable. Um, not confirmed, but would be very fucking hard to believe that this would not be on the market just like uh the face of the franchise guys in the stage three team affinity uh so prepare your assholes baby boys this is going to be coming in hot and it is going to uh greatly affect the rest of the market so who would you guys be looking to sell more or less someone like rogers hornsby any of these kind of guys not really the postseason players are going to have too much effect but even the face of the franchise uh are definitely going to get hit because people are going to have to uh finish off those stages likely sell them to get more stubs to get up to stage four so sell off face of the franchise and any cards that would be in packs or otherwise that's really what you're looking at and even some of the top tier cards that go for a lot are also going to crash because i'm assuming we're going to get all 99s has not been confirmed but would be pretty hard to believe uh that would not be the case so that's what you guys can expect we already did a prediction video if you guys want to see it probably going to be up in the top right hand corner or that top right hand corner i can't tell the difference uh what else is to come uh let's talk about inning programs because uh gomes made a, a pretty dumb remark saying that this could be the last program it's obviously not here's the 11th inning program voucher thank you guys for notifying me that um because that is the case uh, this is going to be a pretty cheap voucher to get eventually i would think unless nobody plays this game which could be the case ps5 is coming soon best believe your boy got one coming in hot uh probably not on the actual day it comes because target would not let me come and pick it up I, I would not want to be in stores around that time. If you do, grab a cup and a, and a pepper spray, a holster for that. A cup to protect your nuts, not want to hold a drink. Um, but, yeah, uh, regardless, I do think the player count's going to drop a bit once the new games do drop on the PS5. But for the 11th inning program, not necessarily going to be bosses. It could be something else. We're going to have to wait and see. I still think it's weird for them to have just one boss in the 10th inning program. Could have some implications for it going forward. Uh, but that is uh, for sure going to be at least another one. It could be another, uh, you know, a lot of packs, 15,000, 1,500 stars like it was last year. Uh, new event is going to be on November 10th. So if you guys aren't happy with this, Kirby Yates, uh, you're going to have to wait about a week longer for new rewards for that to come. Classic Finest, speaking of Kirby Yates, I think it's pretty clear that we are going to get more. And I think they actually did confirm that on stream as well. Uh, so make sure and take a look out for that one. 
Uh, hopefully we get some cool cards. I would love to see the uh, Francisco Lindor from MLB The Show 18 in particular. Uh, Liam Hendricks or no, Blake Trinan from 18 as well. It was pretty damn good. So make sure and think about that. And uh, also quickly want to mention MLB The Show 21. I'm going to make a lot of videos, of course, talking about that in not too long. Never got a wish list out, but uh, let's just hope they don't fucking squander uh, next year again. Um, but yeah, that's going to be coming obviously next year. Uh, regular time assumedly some people have questioned that it's going to be delayed i don't really think so uh, of course they were talking about a tweet i'll f i'll flash that baby up on the screen like you're at a brothel um and people are taking that as it could be delayed i don't really think so i think if anything it could just be the case that they're slowing down content gradually uh which would make sense to give them more time to hit the release window because you really don't see games too often i know the show used to do it but that was before live content really came into full swing look at madden look at 2k look at fee i don't know how the fuck soccer seasons work actually so let's just look at nhl madden and 2k huh always comes out before the season i think that's going to be the exact same case i don't see it getting delayed uh but again as i love to say one could say one could tell once we actually get to uh mid-march but uh that's gonna do it for this one uh if you guys did enjoy it leave a like down below let me know what you guys think as far as willie mays goes in world series let me know what you guys think about that voice crack right there and uh more stage for team affinity predictions uh yeah thank you for watching this one leave a like again i'm gonna ask twice bye